Magandang buhay! Welcome back to our virtual class. I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher. Our learning competency for today's lesson is about the changes in the properties of materials when exposed to certain conditions such as temperature or mix with other materials. After this lesson, you are expected to to describe changes in the properties of materials when exposed to different temperatures. In our previous lesson in science, we have learned the different changes that solid materials undergo. Some solid materials can be changed through many ways. It could be by bending, cutting, pressing, or hammering and these actions can change the materials size shape and texture so as part of a review can you identify what physical activity can cause the material to respond our first material is sp metal spoon second modeling clay and third lug so our first material is a metal spoon. What action or physical activity can you do to change the properties or the characteristics of a metal spoon? So you can bend and hammer the metal spoon. So after bending or hammering the metal spoon, it can change its shape and size as well as the texture the second material is a modeling clay so what can you do or what kind of action or physical activity can you do to change the properties or the characteristic of a clay so you can press or cut the clay to change its shape size and texture the last material is a log. What can you do or what physical activity can you do to change the properties or the characteristic of a log? So you can hammer or cut the log in order to change its shape, size, and texture. So this time, we are going to study the different changes in the properties of materials or matter when exposed to different temperatures. Observe what will happen to the liquid or to the water when place it in the freezer overnight. I will run, I will climb, I will soar I'm undefeated, oh Jumping out of my skin, pull the cord. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, the so, what happened to the water when cold? So, the water changed its form from liquid to solid. Dahil sa na expose ang tubig sa malamig na temperatura, naging solid ito. When the material is cold, it changed in size shape and texture but no new material is formed when the material reach its freezing point liquid materials change into solid and when the material is cold its temperature decrease what do you call to the process where the form of matter change from liquid to solid so it is called freezing freezing kapag yung liquid turns into solid because of the low temperature so this time let's observe what will happen to the ice cube when we move from the freezer and put it over the flame Until I'm breaking, until I'm breaking Out my cage like a bird in the night I know I'm changing 
So what happened to the ice cubes when it was heated? So the ice cube from the freezer changed its form from solid to liquid because of the heat from the flame. So dahil sa init ng apoy, bumalik ito sa original form niya which is liquid. So when the material is heated, it changed in size, shape, and texture. But no new material is formed. And when the material reaches its melting point, solid materials change into liquid. When the material is heated, its temperature increased. So what do you call to the process where the form of matter change from solid to liquid? So it is called melting. Melting kapag yung solid turns into liquid because of the high temperature. So let's identify some changes in the materials when exposed to different temperatures. So number one is boiling. Boiling is the rapid vaporization of a liquid which occurs when a liquid is heated to its boiling point. Second, melting. It is the process of liquefying due to heat. I will run, I will climb, I will soar. I'm undefeated. Oh, jumping out of my skin, pull the cord. Yeah, I believe it. Third is freezing. It is the solidification phase change of a liquid due to cooling. Fourth is evaporation. It is the process wherein liquid turns into vapor or gas due to heat. Fifth is the sublimation. It is the transition of a substance directly from the solid to gas without passing through the liquid state. Example is the month balls placed in the cabinet then disappeared after one week and turned into gas. Number six is condensation. Condensation wherein a gas or vapor turns back into liquid. Now, let's have an experiment. Observe the changes in the properties of materials when exposed to different temperatures. When performing an experiment at home, observe the following safety precautions. First, ask the help of your parents or guardians or older siblings when performing the activity at home. Second, give extra careful when using pointed or sharp objects, match sticks, or other materials that cause fire. And third, observe carefully and take note the results of the experiment. Let's observe what will happen to the materials when heated or cold.
So, from the experiment, the materials that melted o natunaw ay ang margarine, lipstick, and candle. They melted because they are exposed to the heat coming from the fire. When materials reach its melting point, it changes into liquid. When cooled, the liquid materials recover the original physical form. The temperature at which the liquid will change back to solid is called freezing points. Physical change like melting or cooling of margarine, lipstick, and candle resulted to the changes in their shape, size, texture, and forms. But there are no new materials formed. Remember, when the material is heated, its temperature increased or tumataas because it absorbed heat from the fire and this caused the material to change its form from solid to liquid. Tandaan, kapag mainit, mataas ang temperatura. So, yung solid, kapag nilagay sa mataas na temperatura o sa mainit, ito ay magiging liquid or matutunaw. But when the material is cold, its temperature decreased or bumababa because it releases heat and it causes the material to change its form from liquid to solid. Kapag malamig, mababa ang temperatura. So kapag ang liquid nilagay sa malamig na temperatura, ito ay magiging solid or titigas. The changes in the properties of materials is called physical change. It includes change in size, shape, texture, and form. But there is no new material form. So natutunan natin dito na kapag na-expose ang matter o ang material sa heat o mainit na temperatura or cold o malamig na temperatura, nagbabago ang properties nila tulad ng size, shape, texture, at yung form ng matter. A certain temperature can change the form of a matter or a material. Like for example, in evaporation or boiling. So from liquid, it turns into gas. Sublimation, so from solid, it turns into gas. And condensation, from gas, it turns into liquid. In freezing, from liquid, it turns into solid. And melting, from solid, it turns into liquid. Some materials when exposed to heat or extreme temperature may result into chemical change like burning of woods and much ticks or posporo. It turned into ashes. So sa ginawa nating experiment, walang nangyaring chemical change. So in our lesson, Natutunan natin ang iba't ibang pagbabago sa matter o materials na dulot ng iba't ibang temperatura tulad ng init o heat at lamig o cold. Congratulations for a job well done! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated on my next video lesson. Again, I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher. Bye! Happy learning!